previously on Our Game. I'm looking forward to getting to camp, but I think I'm more so excited to wear the Maple Leaf again. I'm just trying to go in with the mindset of I'm there to make a team again. Good players all over Canada. Still the best of the best for this age group. Yeah. Put that jersey on and uh, it put a smile to my face for sure. This year is development camp's a little bit different. All of our players will have to quarantine for 14 days. Our expectations have not changed one bit. We're here to defend our gold medal. Everybody's dreamt of the World Juniors, but when they were dreaming it up, it never looked quite like this. And the idea of being in a hotel room for 14 days in Red Deer as you're preparing to go and play for your dream is a, certainly a unique circumstance. Next up, Edmonton. Next stop, Edmonton. We're all just one big family and we all support each other. And I know you see in this tournament that the whole country comes together and supports the whole team. It's awesome, we're all, we're all so pumped up. Uh, it's been a long time coming. I mean, a lot of days in our hotel room. Uh, I think this is my 14th World Juniors and they're always important, but th this one just has this special meaning. And it, it's so unique in that, you know, when you're in Canada, normally you get the opportunity to share with your family. And I think that's why it's important is because, you know, 25 teenagers have an opportunity to really get a country excited over Christmas. And to me, that's, that's, that's awesome. It's amazing how organized everything is. When Hockey Canada and the IHF made the commitment safety first as the number one priority, they meant it. Everybody feels very fortunate for not only you know Team Canada, but for, for all the teams that are here so that we can play hockey. Just the sheer mass of logistics that was going to entail from safety protocols, COVID precautions, as well as getting all the stakeholders in line. Then ultimately getting the teams to a spot that they could actually participate and be involved and follow the precautions that we had in place in order to get here before we could even drop the puck. We were in our rooms for five days when we got to Edmonton and we just kind of went back to, to what we were used to with uh, Zoom workouts and Zoom calls. I kind of knew what to expect. I wish I uh, brought some more snacks. I'm going a little bit hungry. My mom uh, sent me a batch of cookies when we were in Red Deer and I didn't think ahead, I didn't save any. I'm gonna show you guys around my room and how uh, clean I'm keeping it. I'm making my bed every day, which is new for me. I mean, I think it's pretty clean. There's a couple socks. Something I wish I brought was a book because the, the gaming gets a little old. Braden Schneider, I don't even know if he's been on the Zoom calls or not. I haven't heard his voice in two days now. Definitely, if my mom walked in, she'd be pretty proud. Sent me a Christmas tree, got that all set up, got the lights around the bed. Peyton Krebs. He always shows up without a shirt, and I'm not sure if he needs some laundry done or what. My mom may help me out uh, a little bit at home with my laundry and, and cleaning my stuff, but uh, I think she'd be pretty impressed with, with how clean and neat I've, I've really kept everything in here. Hope it makes you happy, Mom. No, I think my, my mom would be pretty impressed with how, uh, how neat I've kept my room, and uh, to be honest, I'm quite impressed with myself too, so I'm getting excited. I'm almost out of here. Being in your room for that long and not seeing a face or just seeing faces on the computer. And it was awesome to see all the faces and just to talk to someone. And I don't even know how to describe it. First and foremost, obviously the mass. Um, there's been daily testing here with everybody that's in the bubble. I think the teams, Double IHF, Hot and we've really taken a safety first mentality. Now we have teams have followed their isolation and followed all their testing regimens. And we're getting excited to see what's going to happen and actually have some games on the ice. Bobo, you're tickling my brain. It seemed like they would be hard to do, but for the situation given and how lucky and privileged we are to even get to be playing hockey right now, I think it's it's something that is, it's, it's real easy to do if that's all we have to do to make sure that we're playing hockey for Canada. One of the things that the bubble presents on the positive side is there are fewer distractions. I, I think having fans in the building could be an advantage or a disadvantage. It's just certainly how you approach it and work with it. It's a huge facility, okay? It's 28,000 square feet, and it's all ours. We'll dump the puck. Say we have our four check, F1, F2, 
F2 here, we're patient. So we create a battle. Good? Always two guys in sight. It's a long time coming for the boys. Coming to Edmonton, it didn't seem real like this turn was going to start. It was an exciting moment for all of us. The Sweden will have to extend their quarantine as well. What that means is we cannot play them on the 21st. The toughest part is when they cancel the game against Sweden. That was, oh, OK, that's, uh, that was really unfortunate because that was a big game for us in terms of preparation and playing against a really good opponent. I would like to make an announcement on our captain and assistant, but we'll like have a special invite for the communication. So we'll invite you to look up there. Obviously from uh, Chicago and Wisconsin, Saskatoon, Blades, Saskatoon, Alberta. Pretty special. I was not expecting. Obviously, there's a lot of good leaders on this team, and I'm just happy that I'm here to get to lead this group. So it's a huge honor, and I'm looking forward to the tournament. It's definitely humbling. Winning a letter for Team Canada is probably not somewhere I thought I'd ever be in my life, but now that I'm here, it's, it's definitely pretty cool. For most of these players here today, Craig, this is their first real action since mid-March. Has more of a feeling of just being a warm-up game. Oh, it's more than just a warm-up game. I can guarantee you that the coaching staffs for both of these teams are excited about playing one another. We will want to be at our best, play our A game, and build from there and know what area of our game we need to improve and strength and the weakness. Not playing a game for nine months and jumping right in to play the Russians. Canada rush 100 miles an hour after not playing for eight or nine months, I think is a challenge. All the boys were getting fired up. Everyone was screaming and yelling. Seven, eight months of not playing hockey is definitely uh, getting unleashed, and uh, we were ready to get on the ice. We know that we're going to get the best from each and every country because they come to this tournament to beat us. So we have to be on our A game each and every night and be ready to go when the puck drops and, and not take our foot off the gas. Let's see if we can still do this, boys. <laughs> ready? Awesome. All right, have a good one, boys. Obviously, being in Canada, it would have been awesome to have that sixth man on the ice in the crowd. It still felt like a fast, intense hockey game. Now, when we watched Doc, he showed to be a man among boys, patience and poise, strong with the puck. Doc's got it back the other way for Canada. In comes Kirby Doc. Great move by Doc, slides down the goal mouth, and a scare off hangs on to that. It's definitely exciting to have Kirby on our side. A guy playing a full year in the NHL and then coming back to play in the World Juniors. Obviously, he, he will be one of the best players in that tournament. He'll be one of the most experienced guys in that tournament. What stood out with Kirby is his level of maturity and his level of composure. And obviously, he's an elite hockey player. Very good one-on-one, -on -one, big, strong guy, able to protect pucks and, and great finisher on the net. The level of maturity and the level of earnest desire to want to be part of this tournament, even though it would have been really easy for him to say, I'm an NHLer now. We thought it was a rare opportunity to, to have this really great achievement in his life. Three by Doc, 50 move by Kirby Doc at the line, and he comes as Canada changes. They get it set nice, and Kirby Doc is shaking oh. up his going to the Canadian bench. He's going, to, oh no, he's going right down the tunnel. Going right down the dressing room as Akiyamov makes that save. That's the last thing you want to see in a game like this. Oh man, it's such an innocent play. And when Doc goes to make the hit, his arm is down by his hip. When I saw Doc, when he made contact with the other player and immediately dropped his glove and hung his wrist, that's 
identical to what happened to me in the sense that a guy was hitting me. I went to get my stick up to defend myself. It got driven back into my body, and I knew right away it was broken. He's always going to be a part of our team. He's going to be our captain, no matter whether he's on the ice or not. It's never easy when you lose arguably your best player, one of the best players in the tournament. It's, it's tough, him being our captain and all, but at the end of the day, it's, it's adversity. we got to face it. we got to get through it. He was really good. He was confident, didn't make it look tougher than it was. Everything looked smooth, we give confidence to the team, and we knew we had a good goalie. And I've been dreaming of playing this tournament my whole life, and to, to actually be in there, is, it's, it was unbelievable, and I got my feet under me pretty quick, and I just played the game. Even though I haven't been able to see my own family this Christmas, that's been it's been tough. But uh, Hockey Canada has done such a good job of making us all feel like a family, and it's been a lot of fun so far. <laughs> this guy. How are you doing, young man? Good, I'm good, but I watched you play last night. You did seven laps of the ozone. I'm a little confused as to what you are. Byron swings through the offensive zone. Oh, and Byron with a head of steam. That's two laps. Looks good. You have good style doing it. What can I get you for Christmas? Ah, uh, gold medal will do. I don't mind that at all. How about a bag full of stuff? <laughs> I didn't know you were on the team until I saw you 21 skating around, flying headfirst into the floor. <laughs> that was a weird move, but it should work good in Montreal. <laughs> What do you want for Christmas, young man? Uh, I'd like a gold medal, please. You would, would you? Well, let's go earn one. Here. These guys are my family now. Getting to spend it with them is also very special, and we're all happy to be here. We're all happy to spend Christmas here playing for our country. I think if Canada had him, this tournament might not be close. They went from heavy favorite to just favorite, and that says a lot about what Kirby Doc is. What exactly happened on the play? It was kind of a fluke thing. I mean, um, I, I really thought my stick broke because the sound it made, and then I, I looked down at my hand and um, it didn't feel the best and it didn't really look right. For him to do that interview and be so poised, uh, I thought was remarkable. You don't want to think about that. You kind of just want to be like, hey, like, let's fix this and, and get back out there uh, in the moment. But once you kind of take a step back and, and realize, What's really going on? Um, that, that dream kind of quickly fades away. The unbelievable part in all of it is just seeing the support uh, around Kirby and, and really the support from Kirby to us still from afar. It's something that's motivating us to play in his honor while he's not here. We wanted to be the first spot in Group A. We didn't want to lose in prelims. We wanted to, to prove that we were the best team in that group. People that think that Canada should dominate this tournament every year forget that in the last 10 years, five different countries have won the gold medal, and no one had won it twice in a row. This tournament has tremendous parity. I'd say it's gonna be honestly easier than Russian game, because the Russian game was, in terms of nerves, it's a lot of easier that way, because we already played our first game, so now we, we know what to expect, and we know how to play hockey again. I do think the German program's come a long ways, and we certainly respect the structure that they play with. They have some skill with some higher end picks now. Okay, fellas, let's have some fun here. Shot, rebound into Cousins, and he hit the goal post. Plays it down to Quinn. Jack Quinn, a scoring star for the Ottawa 67s for Cooley, moves it and shoots and scores. The way you generate offense is just by playing the right way. Put pucks on that. Those stay home defensemen like ghouls. They can move the puck. They can do breakout. They can put pucks on that. They can jump on the rush. I was just so fired up to, to get on the ice, and I just saw a little opening, shot it, and didn't even really try to score. Just kind of snuck in there, and it was good to get that one out of the way to score my first goal and my first shift. Wearing the C as we mentioned. He's a third of bounce and puck is back to Morales. Oh boy. And 
behind the play, a big collision. See what they end up calling this penalty as Braden Schneider going to be a, a five and a game misconduct for Schneider. I can make an excuse that my game wasn't where it was because I hadn't played in a while, but I should have led with my stick, and I'm pretty sure if I got the stick on puck, my shoulder would have came a little lower, and I would have made a better hit. And now Mercer shoots, scores! Mercer gets his second, and Jay Lewis 5-1. to one. We like Schneitz for who he is. We don't want him to change. I don't think he wants to change. I happened to run into Brady, and I said, oh, that's a tough break. Immediately, you know what he said to me? He said to me that, geez, you know, if I would have led with my stick, I would have been a little bit down further, and I, I wouldn't have made contact with the head. He said, it's my fault. He said, but he knew immediately what he had done wrong. We know that he ended up with a one-game suspension, but I do think that that was a direct result of having not played for a long period of time. I think I learned a little bit more about if I want to play the style of play I play, and that's physical. I have to be a little smarter. Walk to the rink and I set a goal in my head. What in the game are you going to do that's going to impact it? So I just kind of tell myself little things in my head, like today I'm just going to focus on going to net. I want to, I want to go to the net. I don't want to. I'm not going to play on the outside. I'm going to go on net. from every team we play, and we're gonna play everyone the same way. And uh, we expect a challenge from every team. Every game, I mean, it's, it's important, so um, we're just focusing on, on our next opponents in, in the present day. I think uh, it'll be a good game, and we're excited to, to get there. They will be in their white sweaters tonight, trying to improve to 2-0. Devin Levi starts on his 19th birthday for Canada, Slovakia. Right, let's go here, for boys, shake and bake. Of note for Canada, Brady Schneider is out for one game with a suspension. Shoots, that's kicked out by Lavi under the rebound as well. Almasino drops it back. Lavi the same rebound, loose in front. Jordan Spence joins the line and scores the game's first goal. Another shot kicked away by Levi. Back to Barron. Fire him a long shot. He's still losing the silent goal. Quinn on it. 2019, left. It was a huge save. Being up only 1-0 at the time is definitely one that you probably overlook, but uh, definitely could have been a game saver. I don't think we were playing tremendously well at the time. Definitely kind of gave us a little pick-me-up knowing that Levs is back there for us. It's one of those things where the puck isn't going your right way that game. You know, you're working your hardest. You, you want it so bad. You're playing for Team Canada. A little frustrated the puck didn't go in and wasn't snapping it the way I wanted. And, you know, I just kind of needed a reset. So took the old stick out so I wouldn't have to take anyone else out. He wants to do well. He's a competitive guy. He was frustrated, but it was just a matter of, of getting refocused and reset for the next shift. Krebs back on. Peyton Krebs slides it back to Barron. Barron shoots it up through the traffic, kicked up by Lavi. Oh, man, hit by Byron. The back of the Slovaks break out. I think Krebs is going to get a penalty here. You never want to take a penalty, especially in those high stress games, high intensity games that power plays can make or break the game. And in the end, it ended up kind of working out that I did take a penalty because we got a short-handed sure goal. Tomasino busting in, Tomasino in, scores! What a play by Cousins, and what a finish by Tomasino. Swings it back across, and Romeo in, scores! Tyler Taylor! And so that is back within one with 1.24 to go. A little bit worried for Slovakia's a good team. Everybody was just like, let's wake up here, like, enough of this. We were too good of a team to just kind of throw it away like that. We all wanted to win that game, there's no doubt in that. So everyone was competitive and, and fired up. There's fight, shoots, kicked away by Levi. Back at the point, the image pops up his ticket and it's empty. And away comes Quinn, and Jack Quinn's gonna come away. Very good game, 
I didn't know our game really well. I think we did a lot of good things today. I'm, more, I'm really proud of the way we play, proud of the way we stay with it. I think tonight, uh, if we will have played that game against any opponent, will have been a really tough opponent to play against. I think tonight it was a rock solid one. Go. Oh, you can go play Good job, boys. I got a little frustrated. I want to be, try to be the best on the ice at all times and help contribute towards the team and, and be a team guy. You were frustrated. You know what I think? I think when you get frustrated, it's hard to stay focused or stay on task. I think for me, I just, I want to do something every shift, you know? I know you do. And I, I'm not patient with that. I just got to be patient with the process. Do we do the line changes because like our game last? Or like, you get all of we wanted to make some adjustments anyways. Oh, oh. So it's not because of the way I play or I don't know. Don't read it, don't read it. Krebsy. Yeah. Tomasino. Super. Mm -hmm. That's all that's good today. It's the logos between us, okay? When adversity hits, yes, do you lean in no. or do you fall back? Yeah. I'm, I'm feeling good. I had a, a skate and a workout yesterday, so I, I don't feel like I've missed a beat, and I'm, I'm excited to get back into the lineup. Because the hockey plays behind us now, it's important for him to get the rhythm and play some games and have some touches and get back at his game. I don't want him to change his style at all. Team Canada. Playing its third game of the tournament, taking on Switzerland, which is 0-2 so far. Snyder throws it back in front. Quick shot, scores! Tomasino again! Joe Tomasino has scored in three straight games, and Canada's got a lead. Back on the point is Brian Dale. Three shots, score! Hits, and he sticks that to that. That was a little fun. Oh, what a goal. What a rocket. Oh, Chester Pelche in, scores! He's got two, that's 10. And the year. If you go through just the last seven years at the tournament, Finland is Canada's true rival. They have won six gold medals between the two nations over those seven years. And in fact, they've played six times. Every time they've played, the winner has gone on to win gold. Finland's a small country, five and a half million people, but their teams all play the same way. Opportunistic, hard, gritty, fast. Canada, in my mind, is a better team, deeper, more skilled but the Finns are a rock in your shoe that you can never get rid of. Okay, guys, the Finns, uh, they do a few things real well. If you look at their style of play just overall, they're a really responsible team. They do little things well. As a country, to, like if we want to just blanket statement them, they're tight checking, they're good with their sticks, they play in groups of five, and this team in particular is showing that, so we got to be ready to go against them. We can, uh, with our game, if we match their work ethic or we outmatch their work ethic, our skill will take over and they can't handle us. It's one of those games we've been looking forward to uh, throughout the tournament and um, you know, I think uh, as long as we pick our A game and work really hard, I think it'll do really well. Looking at Group A before the tournament, it was easily to, easy to run that these two teams would be 3-0 and and heading to this Group A showdown for the first place in the, in the group. All right, boys, let's end the 2020 on a high note. Amen to that. Taken down behind the play, he's making his way to the Canadian bench. He's bleeding, so he has to leave the ice. He got down, but Michael and shoots. And Kieran makes the stop. Now Dylan Cousins in, shoots, scores! Dylan Cousins fires it home, and once again, Canada strikes early. Up there by Piero, Perfetti, settles it, curls in the backhand shot, roll wide, a penalty coming to Finland. Walks in, shoots, that's wide, rebound, loose in front of it, pass Krebs. Furious pressure by Canada. The puck was following me around a bit, and I was ready for, uh, I guess you call it a little breakout game. I, I wanted to make sure that I made my mark uh, against a, a really good team. So close for Krebs and for Simon Tyler, like it's down to the net. And shoot scores! Jacob Kanye snaps it home, and it's 2-0 Canada. 
I cut back on the blue line, just had some time to, uh, was dragging the puck across, just trying to get a shot to the net, and then uh, Peyton, Peyton tipped it and got the rebound, and uh, we had a little funny celebration after. If there's a player that's deserved one, it's Peyton Krebs. He is, we have talked Popped right down between my legs and just saw her going, and just a big old celly on the bow, and there's nothing better. All over the front of the net, all over. And a penalty coming to Canada. That nice. might be the first mistake. Really, the Dylan Cousins is made. for Lambert. In shoot scores. Brian Lambert gets two on the board with a power play goal to cut the lead to two. Every day, our consistency today was uh, was really solid. Uh, the way we start our game and we were able to sustain, really happy about it. Canada goes 4-0, perfect in group play, and the reason you want to do that is to avoid facing teams like Russia or the U.S. in a quarterfinal game. So they have earned the easier matchup on paper. Now their job is to make it look easy on the ice. On the next episode of our game. Whenever you go undefeated in prelims, it's great, but we're on to the medal rounds now, and um, anything can happen in those. No pressure, but nobody can have a bad day from now on. We I mean, haven't scored a World Junior goal yet, so it was pretty special. I mean, I'll remember that forever. Obviously, Canada and Russia is a huge rivalry. Chris Schneider in as far as stick again, and he scores! We're a family in here. For 52 days, this has been a process. We had to labor once. For a couple more hours, we stick together and make our country proud.